So what you're looking at is a 69 Firebird. Doors are really good. There's a quarter skin on here. We're gonna have to sandblast the hell out of it, but it'll be all right. This has been replaced already. And that's been replaced. And it looks like there was a soft spot here and they tried to weld the bejesus out of it instead of just putting a piece of steel in. Must have been AC and they deleted it. Hmm. You can see where there's been some pieces welded in. I mean, all that will function just fine. And this side looks to be all original stuff. So that's going to be okay. They cut out a little square here, which is weird. And there they cut out a sliver out of the dash. Corners aren't rotten. Anyway, so that's weird. So I don't know if we're changing that or if we're just going to repair it. There's your serial number there, um, which I don't want to show too much of that, but you're not supposed to move them around. So there's one there, and then there's one there. Whatever. So like I say, the doors are really good, a little bit of surface. We can clean all that up and reuse them. Um, hopefully they'll be all right. And I think what happened with this is it was a project that stalled. So let me show you what else has been done. Trunk pan between the frame rails is new. Now the worst thing on this car is the decisions taken in this quarter panel. See, the quarter panel makes this pillar strong, and they kind of cut it in a weird place. And I say that because it doesn't quite do what it should do. So we're going to have to repair that. So the good thing about that is it's sitting on here fairly loose. Same as the back. So we got a little tack right down here. A couple little spots there. A couple tacks there. So not a lot holding the quarter until you get to here. We got a million little... This almost looks like coat hanger welding. But anyway, that's just a mess. So we're going to have to cut right through there and take this off. We're going to have to realign this. And the reason, the main reason why, they fixed the inner wheel house. But as you can see, it comes way down past. So that should go up. And the whole thing is slightly spun. And what they did, and I've done, I, I've done similar work. And what you can do, instead of changing the whole wheel house... Like, I've got an inch. I, I can put my hand in between the two panels. Like, that'll never close together. Now, when you do these wheelhouses, you can go two inches, three inches, and you can cut that outer lip. And if everything is good, but what they did, let's see if we can show you this. They went from nothing, and they went up. I don't know if we can see that, but there you go. You can see what they did. And there's nothing wrong with doing that. The problem is they didn't mock up, which means they didn't set this up and put the piece in and decide where to go. Now, the other thing that could have happened, I think they used the wheel arch 
repair panel out of a 6768 instead of a 69. So what we did, and I'm not 100% sure of that, but I believe that's what it is. You can see how this is flat across. This is where the fender goes on, where that one seems like it's rounded. So you can see where they cut it here, where normally you'd at least cut. It was just kind of a weird decision that was made. Now on the other side, the wheelhouse was repaired and it's perfect and it's under that skin. But on this side, I don't know if they did the wrong one. Maybe a different guy at a different time did it. At any rate, this has to come off. We'll probably just replace the whole wheelhouse at this point or like 70% of it. Now the good, someone put a entire one piece floor pan with all the bracing and everything in it. The inner rockers are super nice, but this is all welded underneath. And when you go under the car, it looks like a brand new car. But it's been sitting a while because the project stalled, and you can see there's surface rust here and there where the coat come off. We're going to spin all that off anyway. And they put a new uh, tow board panel all the way up. So a bit of rust down there. We're going to have to clean that up, but it'll clean up nice. This is this is fairly new. Whose is this one? D-I-I-G-T, which is often a Dynacorn. Ah. Anyway, yeah, there we go, Dynacorn right in there. So it's got a full one-piece floor under it, which is great. So we're going to do a... We're going to do a 6-liter in this with a 400 transmission. And I can't remember the rear end, but uh, that's okay. And if you've seen in the other videos, I was working on a frame. It was for this car. We did have to fix a couple spots in it, but it's got a pretty good frame. As far as I know, we're doing a Hotchkiss uh, two-inch lowering suspension. But yeah. Yeah, if you look way, way up, you can see how... Yeah, the wheelhouse was too high. Like, they just, somebody... They didn't check it when they set their piece in. What happened is they cut too much material off, and then they ended up putting the piece too high. This would come in and actually catch. And sometimes, these are a bugger, and you got to split them back here and pull them up. But once we put the right wheelhouse in, we'll know where that's going to land. And Look at that sticking way out past, eh? Like... The whole thing is twisted and the front is up, the back is down. But here's your rails. Original and really clean. You can see where he painted them up there because they welded the floor in. And the welds are really nice, really solid. There's your brand new trunk pan. And the drop down is not bad on this side. On that side, it needs a little bit of work at the front. We'll see what we're going to do over there, because I won't leave anything crappy. Not on this car. The caliber of this car is too good. But even that support pan up in there, it's really, really uh, solid. So we'll probably use the sandblaster to clean that one up. So this one will be pretty much like a 90% like a restoration, I guess. But there's a... Uh, the rail on that side. The rails are beautiful in this car. It's funny how they did a full floor. I don't think it needed a full floor, but better safe than sorry. The trunk lids often thin out, which is probably why they did that. But the rails are really, really nice. And the rocker panels and inner and outer are all really, really mint. And it's a multi-leaf car, 400 car as far as we know originally. And there's your BOP style rear end. And you can see how it's got that little C-notch on each side of the cover. So that's usually how you can tell your, what is it, an 8.2? And I think there was an 8.5 if I'm not mistaken. But at any rate, these BOP rear, rear ends are pretty tough for what they were. Um, and oddly, under my 68 Firebird, uh, it seems to have a Camaro rear end swapped into it. Because it don't have the BOP setup. So I'm curious if this car would have a posi in it. A lot of these, I think some of these did. 
Spring packs actually look all right. <laughs> so the guy that owns this car is getting me to do all the metal work. We're going to fix it all and bring it back to where it needs to be. And we're going to prime the car. He's going to put the frame in the front. He's going to set up the engine and transmission. And eventually the car will end up being painted. And then he'll complete it. And his intent is to sell the car. And if you're interested, let me know. Because this is a car that you could have at any time. I mean, I've got a lot of cars on the docket that are coming in and out so I'm not too worried but this is the one I'm going to be doing over the winter but at any time if someone wants to come in and go I'd like a purple one or a blue one or whatever yeah or a different engine different trans uh, these 69 Firebirds are getting really really hard to come by so if you're in Ontario Canada especially you could have this car my guess is somebody's going to want this car after we do all the metal work and get the metal work all sorted out and primed. I just, what a... Not thought through, you know, just bad choices. And they didn't realize that that little lip, you got to cut it to get it in and tuck it in. Like, I think someone who did this maybe knew how to do a skin but not a complete quarter. Normally, I'd even cut here, knock it in, slide it over, and weld them together, and then, you know, now if you come into, I just, it's just a weird choice. I mean, every time you do something, see, it bites on the fender a little bit there, but every time you do something, you got to size it up and kind of see where it's going to work, and not everybody can do everything. I have a friend that does Mustangs and he won't touch these cars and I asked him why. I said, what are they hard? He goes, no, I've never done one, you know, and it took a lot for him to do his first Mustang. So he only does Mustangs and Fords. And I know guys who only do Camaros. Um, but if you can do multiples, you got to be able to look at it and think it through, which, you know, not a big deal. It just depends on the guy. Uh, we're going to have to weld a new drip rail on or we're going to have to weld that shut and cut the one off the other side. I'm really not jazzed about that. I, I don't know if they did it to get this to fit or what they were thinking. Now the roof isn't too bad, but right here, like it's all real nice. And then here there's some hard waves, but look at the hell they, I think they had a big gap that they tried to fill here and, who knows? I have a feeling that that quarter is why this project stalled and it sat for years in some shop. And my buddy picked it up thinking he'd get that fixed. And a lot of guys didn't want to touch it. Like it's, your collision shops don't want to do this. They're busy. They don't have time for this. That's, that's the reality. And, you know, guys that are doing what I can do. And there's guys out there a lot older than me that were way eons better than me. Problem is they're all 70, 80 and retired and so on so it's getting harder to get these done and here we had our floor show up for the 56 wagon so maybe we'll do a video on that car next cheers